Thank you. I'm Bernard Hagendegui, CEO of Atlantis Computing. Uh, thank you for coming here. So I wanted to give you a short but uh, focused overview of Atlantis Computing, um, where we come from and the product lines. And then I will let uh, Seth and uh, Chetan really dive into the product lines and do demos for you. Uh, for those who don't know, we've been around for a while. We've been around since 2007. And we built a very successful business over the last few years with phenomenal growth. So I want to share with you some of, uh, some of the portfolio, our growth, and give you an is, in a, sense, uh, a sense for who we are today and how significant we are in what we do. So let me start by saying we are a software company. And we, we don't sell any hardware. We don't sell storage. We're not a storage company. But everything we do is about optimizing how storage is consumed in a virtual data center. And that's where we're focused. There are a lot of benefits outside of the storage side that comes with it, less network traffic, better densities on the servers, and so forth. But we'll talk about that later. So we are software uh, solution. From the very beginning, you'll see that we were really uh, feeding pretty much the profile of what everyone thinks of today as a software-defined storage environment. We just never called it that way. But you're going to see how even with our early VDI project, we were policy-based and optimizing capacity and performance based on our software profiles that we were setting up in a server. So we released recently a new product, and we decided in that context to really broadly uh, put our product in that context. Uh, we are very, very agnostic to just about everything that's out there. Agnostic to storage, to server hardware, to hypervisor. Everything that we do is across all hypervisors. So today we support ESX, multiple versions, Zen Server, Hyper-V. On the storage side, our install base is on just about everything. But probably the bulk of our install base is on EMC. <coughs> I have to say, but a lot of stuff on Fusion I.O., on NetApp, on HDS, on everything you can imagine out there. We'll get back to you on that in a minute. We are the only one today on the market who can let you deploy virtual workloads with absolutely no storage by running everything in memory. Now, we've done that for many years, by the way, and it's been in full deployment at JP Morgan Chase, for example, for almost three years. 18 data centers running like that. We'll talk to you more about that because we put that in a, in a market a while back and it is extremely relevant in a context of traditional workload in a data center. And we'll show you with Chetan uh, uh, talk in a few minutes how this is really bringing a ton of value in that context as well. So in general, when you think Atlantis computing or Helio, you can think of, of just a few things, less storage, better performance, less risk in the deployment, and we'll talk about many of the automation tools we have for deployment, the super fast provisioning engines that we have working at very large scale, our HA, our disaster recovery, and so forth. Uh, and, and that's really how you should think about us, a software that lets you use, do more with your storage, better performance, and with less risk. Uh, we have an incredible set of super large customers. We cannot give you all the names today, but think about the largest banks in the world, the largest hospitals in the world, the largest retailers in the world, and you'll have an idea of our customer base. Because of that, we accumulated over the years an incredible operationalization expertise. How do you go and deploy you know, 100,000 VMs out there? and do it while keeping this performance level, stability level, this 24-7 uh, you know, targets that we all have. And that's what we bring as well when we discuss things with our customer. So worldwide presence, we are everywhere, literally, from Russia to Japan to, to Canada. I'm joking, of course, <laughs> but we are in Canada. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, but back to our customer, hundreds, we'll, we'll give you a sense for the install base in a few minutes, but we're in hundreds of mission critical deployments. We're not, we have a lot of SMBs, but think of us as an enterprise player. We're into some of the largest enterprises around the world. So, 
let's talk about some of the certification. We, we've done either reference architecture, or we've been certified, or we have had extensive testing with just about everything that is out there. And if we haven't tested it, it's deployed on it somewhere in one of our customers. But this brings basically the collaboration that we've had with Citrix and VMware, because everything we do complements what those guys bring to market. It's everything we've done with IBM, we've seen probably recently all of the IBM work that we start to share actually back at VMworld, or with EMC, or with NetApp, uh, or with Cisco. In fact, Cisco is an investor. They've invested twice, the first time in 2010. The other investors for us are Partec International, they all Paribas Technology. These are the guys who built Akimbi. Akimbi was bought by VMware a few years back. We were obviously interested in that, uh, in that background. Eldorado Ventures built Compellent, a Compellent uh, acquired by Dell. Uh, very successful uh, <coughs> a storage company. In fact, the guy who was on, a, on the board of Compellent uh, became an investor. And Adam Street Partner, a fund of fund, a super large, uh, a large VC uh, company, worldwide presence, who came in into the capital back in April last year. So moving on, um, we like to talk about our award-winning uh, solutions. We picked up the best of VMworld back in 2012. Uh, we picked up the best of VMworld Europe for deployment. And that was interesting because this is done at Colt. Colt is the AT&T of Europe. Uh, the deployment was actually done by VCE and VMware. There's a reference implementation available by VMware. And this is about 20,000 desktop as a service with customers that include banking and and businesses of all kinds. There's a very big bank in the UK who is using them as a disaster recovery <coughs> environment. Best of Citrix Synergy as well, uh, Storage Magazine Product of the Year. We just received the Court Innovation of the Year Award. We had picked up JP Morgan Chase, you know, Hall of Fame Award back three years ago for deployment over there. So we, we just kept picking them up. But for us, this is recognition that what we built works and people really like it. Um, let's talk about what we built. So we started with VDI. Actually, if I was right, I'll tell you, we started with servers and server optimization. And then we thought, since no one was touching VDI and it was probably the hardest thing to do, we thought, hey, let's do VDI first. So VMworld 2009, Chetan and I were there just with a server virtualization optimization solution. But by October, November, we picked up a multi-million dollar contract from JP Morgan Chase to do VDI. And so we decided we're going to do VDI before anyone else and be the best at it. So we put on the market some really good solution, which we'll talk about in a few moments. Then we released a product to optimize a virtualized ZenApp implementation. A lot of risk, a lot of performance problems sometimes and we knew how to tackle those issues. So we put that on the market in 2012. And then recently, as just stated, we put a new product on the market to really tackle the virtual data center. And I'm kind of glad that we're doing that now, that we've had solutions on the market for several years that are really honed and super, super enterprise ready that now we can bring to the world of databases and email and big data and so forth. So, Let's talk quickly about our VDI solutions. You have to think about VDI into two use cases. The stateless VDI, which is mostly in the hands of SMBs. Smaller deployment because that image transformation takes too much time, efforts and money. And the persistent VDI, which is mostly in the enterprise. Because first of all, they don't have the time, bandwidth money to convert all those images. And even if they try, it's very risky. And two, their users demand the ability to really customize those desktop. It's really hard to do that in the enterprise, very difficult. And we are the key player who has enabled those partners like NetApp and Cisco and IBM and, and EMC to really deploy large scale persistent video in the enterprise. It is for that reason that all the storage partners actually work with us. We make a persistent VDI in the enterprise economically feasible, delivering high performance. Stateless, you see, uh, Seth will talk about that. Stateless, we can do stateless with no storage, servers and software. 
just deliver sovereign software and you can deploy tens of thousands of stateless desktop with no storage. Largest implementation today, 100,000 desktop, 18 data centers. JP Morgan Chase. Next, the server side. Ilio for Zenap, we let Seth talk about that, but the bulk of the value we provide is to de-risk that right cache sizing issue. If you don't get it right, which is really impossible with just regular physical stuff, if you don't get it right, you cannot control performance, nor you can you control the cost. And so we bring this level of guarantees on cost and performance by putting our software, and we totally de-risk that cache issue. And then Ilio USX. So there is a great session there with Chetan coming up in a few moments, because as you will see, it's much more than just optimizing how a database uses storage or how a uh, large email exchange implementation is done. It is really about how storage pools are created and shared across <coughs> all of the different workloads. And so there's a really good session coming up on this in a few moments. So let's talk quickly about some of our customers. Um, you see that we've had phenomenal growth. Last year alone, we picked up 261 customers, mostly enterprises. And would I surprise you if I tell you we picked up 70 banks last year, banks and financial institutions. We had 36 healthcare, <coughs> mostly hospitals, around the world. By the way, some of the largest hospitals in Holland, uh, or in the UK, uh, or in the US, uh, not just here. Uh, in fact, IBM did a really nice a press release on one of our joint customers, uh, University Hospital of Leicester, with a complete VMware implementation around IBM storage, IBM server, large-scale VDI deployment. So we are across all verticals, from law firm to telco to energy to manufacturing to retail to education, government, just about everything. These are some of our public references. In fact, there are videos on Washington Trust Bank on our website. Uh, there are uh, case studies on the US Army available, uh, 8,800 users across uh, seven hospitals, including that super large hospital in Germany, where all the wounded troops uh, actually are sent first. Uh, North Stream Bank uh, uh, reference account for us, for VMware, for Cisco. There's some good stuff on the website on this as well. But this has been our growth, by the way, um, on the customer base side. We've been growing at more than 100% year to year. A customer, install base, uh, our own you know, business itself, bookings, revenue, you name it. Uh, last year, over 92% of all transactions were done through the channel. And that's been growing at about 136% year to year, just to give you an idea how fast this is going. And we'll talk about what the channel is right now. Uh, what does that mean, channel? We have resale agreement with IBM, with Dell, with HP. All three can order Helio and sell it uh, out there. Maybe someone at the door waiting. Uh, we have, we have uh, bundles actually that are available <coughs> through IBM and IBM partners for VDI, for Zenap. We have bundles that are available from there as well. We co-sell in the field through partners and with the sales force. We co-sell in the field with NetApp and Cisco today. And then we have some really strong relationship with some of the key players. You know, one of the, one of the things about VDI is that you have a lot of puzzle pieces that make up an implementation. And so we have good collaboration with VCE out there, Europe, US with Absence, with Teradici, with Lexide, with NVIDIA. And that's in addition to the work we do with VMware and Citrix. So we, we are very active uh, out there with those players. The channel today, we have over 200, it's like 210 to 20 uh, integrators, resellers, distributors. We tend to use distributors a lot in Europe. <coughs> uh, we have two distributors in Italy, for example. Uh, we also work with uh, BT. We work with Atos. We work with Fujitsu. Uh, we work with a number of players, Europe, US, like Fujitsu as well, and Australia. So it goes beyond your normal reseller distribution uh, network as well. With many, 
we have the concept of bill of material that are pre-built uh, with a SKU that the customer can order. We also work with a l large national resellers in the US like, like MTM and Presidio and Worldwide Technology. Those are E plus, Insight, I mean, I could go on uh, with the list. Those are great partners of ours. And we do less and less direct deals, by the way. Um, we started, because that's the only way you can start a business, really. Uh, I mentioned last year only 18% of the deals were, 8% of the deals were direct. And these tend to be those super large banks. I cannot mention names. But if you think some of the largest banks in the world, they are customers. And those we tend to have to work directly. But more and more we work those with IBM or HP or, or Dell. And so uh, things have changed. But we, we do have, uh, we do maintain, this re regardless of how we sold to a customer, we maintain nice relationship with them. We make sure that they are successful with their deployment. And we're always there for them. I mean, this is one of the reasons we have so many large deployments really working at very large scale. Uh, we had to black out some names here because uh, of the video. So uh, we're a software company. Why did we decide to do software? Why? Because we thought that we should let our customers always benefit from the latest innovation in hardware, the latest storage arrays, the latest servers, and help them move from one to the other as they keep maturing their own deployments. It also gives them a way to uh, in many sense, maximize their investment. So whatever they bought, their supply chain, their relationship with server and storage vendor, they maintain them. But in a nut share, right, we really allow those guys to take off the shelf servers, off the shelf networking and storage, the hypervisor of their choice and build it the way they want. And we, we help them. We have a lot of reference architecture as you'll see in a few moments. So my last slide before I turn this over to Seth Knox. If you think about us, some takeaways, right? I always think about less storage, better performance, <coughs> but by less storage, by no means do I mean to say that a storage vendor would make less money. A storage vendor always makes more money with us, and that's why we have so many storage vendors as partners, because we make a VDI deployment economical which means people can afford it, which means that instead of deploying a thousand seats, they now deploy 20,000 seats. So opti optimizing storage and performance means that the storage vendor actually sell more into those accounts, and the server vendors sell more into those accounts. And that's the reason for all this partnership. We are experts at what we do, and it makes a big, big difference when we go out there and sell and handshake on that deal. Because when we sell something to a customer, we're not just selling him software. We're coming in with our expertise and we really help those guys be successful. You know how risky VDI is. So along this line, I let Seb go over it. A, a lot of tools and expertise to architect, fast deploy, with full automation tools to deploy, operationalization around provisioning, <coughs> provisioning integration, automation around provisioning is all there. And this is the reason why you can deploy a hospital, 20,000, 30,000 desktop in a few days, working with incredible performance. That's what we bring. And then we talked about the install base. And then we have our relationship, our engagement, our reference architectures and tools and so forth that we developed with the IBMs of the world, the NetApp of the world, the EMCs of the world, e, uh, VCE and so forth. Uh, Seth will go into more detail about this, but um, this by itself is what we spent a lot of time over the last three years, uh, making sure that we were integrating and optimizing at all times.